Hi, I'm Bob with LPS Computer. In this video, I'm going to explain a common problem that occurs with all HP design jet plotters sooner or later, and an easy, low-cost solution. If you're not experiencing this problem yet, you might want to bookmark this video for future reference. If you're experiencing a color starting to print and then fading out before the print's finished, it's because there's air in the print head. Here's how you can determine if a print head has air in it or not. You'll need a postage scale that measures in grams. Look at the weight chart included with the instructions to determine the correct weight for your print head and the weight of the print head. If it's light, it has air in it. For example, this is a DesignJet Z3200 print head which should weigh 60 grams if it's full of ink. The material used by HP for the seal and the printhead needle port when the ink tube system turns to goo after a few years and starts allowing air into the ink tube system when the tube system is not pressurized. This happens when there's a difference in barometric pressure, specifically when a high pressure weather system moves into your area, air squeezes past the printhead needle seal and gets into the ink tubes. When the valve in the uh, print head opens for more ink, it pulls in air instead. A small amount of air won't cause a problem, but eventually the uh, print head valve stops working. This is because the valve's operated by a tiny float, sim similar to a float in a toilet tank. The solution LPS has developed accomplishes a number of things. It positively identifies the problem printhead. It removes air from the printhead. It flushes the printhead with a cleaning solution to remove thickened ink and clean the nozzles. It refills the printhead with ink. It removes all the air from the ink tube system. And finally, and probably most important, it uses uh, external printhead needle seals to keep out any future air um, and saving the cost of a new or rebuilt ink tube system. We have a kit with everything you need to restore your print heads and the tube system. The kit has a purging syringe with a special needle to defeat the check valve in the print head ports in the ink tube system, cleaning solution, a print head refill syringe, uh, appropriate funnel for the type of print head you're restoring, a capping fixture to mate the print head nozzles to the refill syringe, and uh, new external print head needle seals and the installation tool to put them in. You'll need your own postage scale. I believe I already mentioned that. To start, place the print head upside down on a flat surface. Insert the funnel over the print head needles using the larger syringe. Extract about five milliliters of cleaning fluid and inject it into the funnel. Attach the capping fixture over the printhead nozzles. For printheads with two colors, you'll need to pay attention to which color is being capped. If you get it wrong, there's no harm done. Just rotate the capping device 180 degrees. Attach the purging, purging syringe and pull the plunger until the cleaning solution is midway in the neck of the funnel. You don't want to pull more air into the print head. Discharge the waste ink in the syringe into the Ziploc bag. Using a larger, the larger syringe, insert the needle into the print head port to purge the ink tubes of air and extract about six milliliters of ink. Squirt the ink into the funnel. With the refill syringe, draw out the cleaning fluid and watch the neck of the funnel until nearly all the ink has been drawn in. Do not empty the funnel neck completely.
dispose of the waste ink and cleaning fluid and remove the capping device and funnel. Clean the contacts on the back of the printhead with the alcohol wipes in the kit. There is a set of silicon printhead seals in the smaller Ziploc bag. Push a seal onto the uh, onto each of the printhead needles, and using the insertion tool, push the seals all the way in as far as they will go. The printhead's ready to go back to work. I hope this was helpful, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.